Si 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 si. Oh, uh, it's so weird to be back on a jig. Ah, uh, get up. Si si si. Right, back at Cheddar for another little first ride. And today. I'm on the 390 Duke. Oh, guys, I bet you've missed this. Who's missed the, the Duke? It feels so weird. I, I, I don't like how it's throttle sticks. That's, that kind of fucks with my head a little bit. Ooh. So there's some vibrations. Now, he's only got these little bar ends on, not all the bar ends. So the KTM 390 Duke, all the same parts. If, if you want to see a full review of a KTM Duke 125, which has all the same parts pretty much apart from the engine, then you can hit the card up there. I did it on my Duke. One, two, five. Oh, hello. I remember mine used to do that. It used to come up with, like, the speedo doesn't register. <laughs> now, compare it to my R3. I'm sat upright. It feels a lot more lighter, a lot more nimble. It's only slightly lighter than um, my R3. This has just a little bit more horsepower than my R3. Where it's just a little bit less. So they're very similar bikes. He says all the power is around 7,000, I think. My R3's power is about 9,000. It's got a lot more linear t like power. This doesn't feel like it's going to rip your arms off. Second gear. Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit in second light. Gears feel better on this than it did on my, um, my Duke. It's got stock exhaust. Now, I can't wait to show you next year when he's fully done this bike. He's got a whole new mod body for it and headlight and everything. It's going to look amazing. I can't wait to show you that, but that's not for until about February. So, got a while off yet. So, if you want to see the KTM LC4 640 first ride, you can go check that out. I'm assuming this has got ABS. Let's see how much first gear's got. Yeah, it's quite punchy in first. <laughs> I've got to be stuck behind two vans, haven't I? That's just the cheddar way. Thank you, sir. Oh, all right, yeah. It's about the same power as my R3, like, don't get me wrong. But I think because it comes in a little bit early in the revs, it feels that little bit more powerful, if that makes sense. Now, if you really know me, you, lo you, you know that I love the Dukes, and you also know that I'm really in love with supermotors at the moment. And this definitely feels like a supermoto, but just like um, a supermoto in a suit. That's that's the best way I can kind of explain it. It's kind of not too insane. It's 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 smart. It's a smart supermoto. Corner and feels like it just wants a tip in, which isn't a lot. Like with most naked bikes compared to sports bikes, the sports bikes feel like they want to want to tip in a lot more than um than the nakeds do. But no, this this wants to tip into the corners. Really wants to fight the corners and still got the false gears, <laughs> which I love. The gearing was never great on the Duke. Now, this is the Duke 390, the older model. I'm not sure what year this one is, but these were actually made in India and aren't made of the best quality. As you know, mine broke down and lost power and all sorts. Like The reliability of these bikes aren't fantastic. Now, for 2017, they did upgrade the 125 and the 390. And they do look amazing now. I think they look better than these older ones. And supposedly they've um, improved the reliability and everything on the new ones. So it's got a nice power band. I, I really actually like the power band. So it's not going to rip your arms off like that LC forward. And it ain't bad. I have to say, I do... Oh, for fuck's sake. See, so yeah, I love the dash on this, um, on the Duke. Fucking, I've missed that. All right, let's get this kick sound down. Oh, that's a bit scary. Don't fall over on me, please. You're not my bike. Not my dad! Don't fall over. So let's have a walk around. Doesn't she look nice? She is a beauty. These are actually the rear sets I sold him. I would never actually put them on my Duke, so I sold them to him. He's got the radiator cover like I did. Doesn't sound bad either with the stock exhaust. Hey, the Duke 390. The Duke's always been a good looking bike. Should we try a 0 to 60? Should we try it? All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> let's uh, let's put it in neutral uh, in first first. All right, let's try a 0 to 60. I think I hit 59 then, but that's pretty much it. I did fuck it up a little bit. 
because obviously I'm not used to launching this. So take about half a second off. But yeah, no, I actually really like this. I think the power is. Apparently, I'm doing naught again. <laughs> the power is actually really nice. The power delivery is really good. I kind of like the power delivery better on this than I do my um, my R3, but I don't like the rev line on it or the rev limiter, whatever you want to call it. I think it comes in a little bit too soon, which you can adjust. And I'd like to have it a little bit higher up. I mean, that cuts in a little bit soon. And no, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, I'm not going to turn around here. I'm going to go a little bit further. And turn around here. Front brake isn't bad. The brakes are a little bit better than my my Dukes, but uh, uh, my R3s, but they're they're not Brembo's. <laughs> a little punchy engine, which is what these single cylinders are. They are punchy engines. That brake is um, a lot better than my R3s. My R3s brakes are just spongy, terrible things. I don't know what his speedo is all about. I think he needs to get that recalibrated. <laughs> so keeps jumping the north. I'll have to ask him in a bit. Nah, it's not a bad bike. It's not a fucking insanely stupid, crazy thing, but on an A2, no, this is this is good. I like. I am a fan. I'll turn around here and I'll try and do another 0 to 60. Engine braking's good. I love the engine braking on it. Seat is a. Uh, it's quite a hard seat, but it's not uncomfy. Ready, go. Not bad, eh? That'd a bit better. Yeah, brakes are pretty good. Oh, hello. See that buzzard up there? Oh, there's two buzzards, actually. Look at them, just hovering there. That's fucking badass. Yeah, brakes are good. I like the brakes. Not insanely good. Not those Brembo's I had on the K other KTM, but it's um, not bad. Are you going? Go on. Mm. Hey, look at that buzzard. Fuck yeah! That's awesome. The power on this is actually fucking good. I, I actually really like the power. It's such a punchy ending. Not bad. A little bit sporty position. So it's a little bit more lent over than Supermoto. One thing, one little niggle that I have that I I don't like. Now I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm changing gear, I, I always have this little f horrible feeling that it's gonna jump out of gear. I never feel like it's quite in gear. Now I don't know if that's because changing gear is so smooth or just because I know on my old Duke that it used to jump out of gears all the time. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I um, don't like it. Don't like that feeling. Instrumentals, very basic, very simple. Uh, flash to pass, headlights, indicators, horn, which sounds great. 
starter kill switch. It's got some nice levers on it, nice little aesthetic stuff. Um, other than that, it's pretty pretty basic, but yeah, no, I, I like it. I like it. I do like the, um, the 390 Duke. No, let's go. And yes, this thing would power wheelie in first gear. If you're really wondering. Not insanely, my little baby ones. If I had to rate the 390 Duke out of 10, I think it would only be a 6. Great commuter bike, good fun to have on the twisties on the weekends and stuff like that. The reliability lets it down on the bike and the build quality and it just doesn't have... It's got, it's got that craziness to it, but it's almost reined in. It kind of feels not like it's fully unleashed, which is fair enough. It's an A2 bike. Like, I don't expect it to rip my arms off like that KTM, but that's why I'd put it down at a 6, just because it, it doesn't... I like that ripping off my arms and stuff, which it has, but not a lot of it. So that's why it's only got a six. We'll give it six and a half. Six and a half. My KT, my R, my R three. I think I would give a probably about the same. Honestly, I'd probably give it about a six and a half. The R three is much more linear power, not as torquey compared to this. It's um, feels a little bit more nimble. The reliability and build qualities are much better on the R3, and I think they both look fantastic. I think that's a fair, fair rating of the R, my, the KTM Duke 390. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see any of the test rides that I've done, there'll be cards throughout this video and linked in the description that you can go check out. I've done a few now. If you want me to test ride your bike, hit me up on any kind of social media. Echo first. And just let me know and we can organise it. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Adios.